sorry if the camera footage is shaky, I've been doing a lot. So, it's my mum's birthday today. By the way, I moved into a new house, so let's give you a tour. Here's the front door. It may look like we have a lot of boxes because we still do. Sorry I haven't talked to you in a while. Here's the kitchen, we just went through the dining room. And the bathroom. Let me take you upstairs. It's an awesome house. I won't show you mum's room simply because it's messy. Here's my room. And there's my bed in place. Most of this stuff is my mum's. And then I have an awesome big cupboard which I like. Which I love rather. And I have everything in pride of place. Oh, I don't think I got to show you guys. I have this awesome Titanic model that my nan got me. So that's awesome. Sorry for my breath. I've been running a little bit doing stuff. So, as I was saying, it's my mum's birthday today. And I've never gone to do anything for her. I'm, I was clearing about just trying to do stuff. And I found some gift wrap. And I found a few things that... I have which I don't think she's seen. So um, I also had some tape and I had some stickers and paper and I also hung those up. So what I thought I would do is give mum a surprise by wrapping her some presents and a card and hiding it and I'm hoping I can film her reaction. She doesn't want to be on YouTube but I might upload it to my Google Drive, but I really want to put this on YouTube as I did the house tour. And I want to film it just so it's a good memory. So what I've done is I've wrapped her a few presents. These three have one thing in each, and this one has a bunch of stuff. And I'm hiding it under here. Now, I'm thinking, let's put one on top. So I'm going to put that one on top. So when she gets in... I can film when she comes in the door and then she'll see that and open it but when she goes to sit down I'm hoping I can still be filming then but when she goes to sit down she normally sits under the blanket so she'll move the blanket and see it and then I want to film her unwrapping them and her reaction to them because I've never got them to do anything like this and she has no idea she's out with my sister at the moment and she has no idea that I'm doing this she doesn't she doesn't know I have the gift wrap. She does She does know I have the tape. But she has no idea. And I just... It's just something nice to do. Because she's done so much for me. She's bought me this new Smile More mouse pad. Smile More hat. And sunglasses. Smile More pens, pencils, pillowcases. All sorts. Which cost hundreds of quid. So... It's my little gift back because she's done so much for me and it's the most, I, I can't describe how good it feels to be doing this and just how happy I hope she'll be and it just makes me feel really good that I'm able to do something like this. So she's been out for a little while now. And I'm going to kind of stay around the front room. We've been watching Time Demon TV. Um, so I've got to kind of stay around here and looking out the window. Just so that I can see when she gets home. And obviously, as I said, sorry I haven't uploaded. We've just been moving, unpacking, stuff like that. But yeah. I've never been able to do anything like this for her. I've never been able to buy her a present or give her a present. I've never wrapped presents before. I've given her cards and stuff before, but I've just never done a birthday surprise. And the thing I love about Mum is she, has, she surprises us in the way we never expect. She gets us stuff that we don't dream of. And she's always there for us. And she's so kind and helpful. And she always understands. And it's like, she's just such an amazing person. The stuff she's been through, and she's able to hold her head up high, be happy and positive, and just get on with it. It's, 
it's just amazing to have her as a mother. She's so, so amazing. She's like a unique person. The best. So, just gotta wait. It's a waiting game now. Hopefully she'll be home soon. We're having a buffet today. I kind of thought of the idea of a buffet for her birthday so that, for me, I feel like I'm fat. And I've been doing tons of exercise a lot, stuff like that, so I could try and lose a bit of weight. And I always tend to get anxious around food or I eat too quick and get indigestion. So it'd be nice just to be able to have a selection, because normally I have the same stuff every week, but different every day. So it'd be so nice just to have a selection on the table, be able to pick as much as I want and, you know, just pick a bunch of options. And it'd be nice, because, because I have misphonia, which means... You get annoyed or anxious at the sound of people eating and stuff. I tend not to be able to be a mum and eat. But today, I'm going to make myself sit there and be happy and talk to her and eat with her. So we can have a little birthday lunch. And then on Thursday, I think it is, my brother and my sister are coming and they're going to cook a special meal for mum. Which I don't really... I don't... So I like the taste of it, but I've never tried it. Um, so I'm gonna probably eat my own thing and then go upstairs so they can have some quality time because they don't come around much and they're not able to see mum much. I'm gonna have to have a drink, I'm talking so much obviously. <laughs> my throat's going dry. Don't know why I'm shaking so bad right now. I guess it's just because of how much I've been doing. But yeah, and I'm so excited. How much time we got left? 14 minutes, so we should be able to film my coming home. If need be, I'll pause it if we're getting close to time and then play it when she's coming through the door. Woo! 11.42, it's near the buffet time. Um, yeah, I'm not going to press play on time team yet, because obviously something me and mum are going to watch because it's the bedroom episode just going to sit down because i've been walking around a ton Whew. i've not been too bad lately as well with my anxiety and stuff to be honest um i've not I had a panic attack for a long time like, i have moments where it seems like one's coming on but then it just fizzles out as quickly as it starts and I have good days and bad days, but I'm still able to be positive to myself and be positive about stuff. And I'm always able to say, you're fine, girl, just calm down, you're going to be fine, and stuff like that. Which is amazing. Even when, even though I feel good, my mind's kind of like always worrying about something. So I just try and ignore it and focus on something else and just be with mum kind of like care for her, make sure the house is clean and stuff like that. I just tend to, I have my own routines, so I just try and do that. But I've not really been too bad. Like, there's times where I have off days and that's normal. Where it's like, my mind's not too good, but then there's other days where I'm happy and fine, which is good. I'm definitely going to be watching this video before I upload it to YouTube because it's going to be awesome. I'm going to be starting school soon as well. I'm going to have like some taster days, as I call it. And then I'm going to be part-time and then full-time. But I'm in year 11 from September and I still have to leave the same time as the other students, which is like in June or July. So it's not giving me much time to catch up because... Obviously, some holidays are going to be coming up because it's now July. So, I am um, from September. I have about six months to catch up with about a year and a half's work, and I just feel so rushed. I almost cried when they said I can't go back a year and stay there extra time. So it's stressing me out a little bit. Anyway, back to positives. Um. It's supposed to be so happy to be able to do this. I was just cleaning and I saw the gift wrap and I thought, I really want to give mum a present. So I gathered some stuff up and just started wrapping. 
I'm not too good at rapping, but obviously I had to improvise, so I just did that. And I had to improvise and use stickers because I didn't have any labels, so I put stickers, stick a piece of paper down, and put to mum or mum. Oh, I need to stick that bit down. They did not stand down very well. Can't wait until mum gets home. Because she has to take my sister somewhere and then get her registered somewhere. Which is a little far away. I'm just going to have a look out the window and see if I can see her. At least there's a parking space outside the house. That's good, as if they know it's mum's birthday. But yeah, it's like the first kind of part of the birthday thing was when I found these. So I just thought, I have some tape, I'm going to hang them. I didn't do, I did a fair job considering it's my first time doing this. And then I thought, I'm just going to clear some stuff out of the room, because our second bin's finally got delivered. I just thought, I'm just going to sort some stuff out in my room, make sure there's nothing else that I want to throw away. And so I sorted the bins around the house out as well, putting stuff that's like into the recycling bin bag. And then... I I was looking in the cupboard and obviously I saw the gift wrap and I thought, hmm, kind of idea flash. So I thought, yeah, so it's going to be an awesome surprise. The weird thing about here is like, the bin always don't come into the alley to empty the bins like Rotterdam. But the alley here is like small, it's a little walkway and there's two conjoined gardens. So there's that one and then there's another one over there. And you have to take your bins out to the front and then bring them back around after they've emptied it. And it's Monday today. Normally a lot of damn bins get emptied on Wednesday, so... It's kind of like a... Not exactly a culture shock, but just a lot of change. And the first few days I've actually been here, when I came back from Nans, I felt amazing. I was thinking, oh, I'm going to feel like crap. I felt amazing, I got my stuff unpacked quickly and organised it and moved it about a lot. And it wasn't too bad actually. Saying it can't be said for mum unfortunately. I'm hoping I'm not boring you by just sitting there and talking and stuff, it's just... I'm waiting for the big moments, so I'm like hyping it up and really hyped up. I do need to top up my drink though. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, look at these on the dry. Yeah, I love mum so much. Gonna have to put the oh gonna have to put the phone down. Let me look at how much time it's left. Nine minutes and ten. Looks like you've got to talk to me for a little bit before mum gets home. Okay, there we go. There it's like my mind has challenges but what's it? Mine has challenges, but you just try and move on from them because it's like time doesn't stop, and there's no way of just like pausing time and stuff like that. So, even if you can't cope with something, you just have to because there's no way of if you know what I mean, which you probably don't. Um, I'm probably gonna put the time team up before the scene on just so I can watch something whilst I wait. Is there any on season two? Did we watch these? My confused face. But yeah. My favourite time of the year. Time of the year? Time of the day is bedtime. Because no matter what, you can just... If you're feeling like crap, you can just lay in bed, watch stuff on YouTube, and then just go to sleep. Look at this clock. It's a ship clock, and all around the house, there are these cool modern ship, modern, model ships, which is amazing. But as I said, we're still kind of unpacking. Look at these marmor pencils and pens that Mum got me. I love Mum so much. We always, so I have, well, not always, but we have our moments. But in the end, they kind of fizzle out. Oh, come on. 
Yeah, our shoe racks kind of bust. <laughs> it always falls. But yeah. And there's like paintings and stuff. Yeah. And then up here, when you come up here, it's one of Mum's paintings. Um, and when we were going through Rotterdam, I found this basket of like old stuff from like a different house because we moved house once before. And I found this model model cars and transformer cars and stuff. And obviously, I have storage spaces underneath there. I still can't get over that model boat. And I have all these little models. I'm fascinated with collecting things, if you didn't know. Collect sides and stuff. I was also doing a jigsaw. Why are you messed up? No. Stay. There's, it says complete on the box, but there's actually a couple of pieces missing. I don't mind. I'm just waiting for one to get home, so I'm sure. And then I have this builder set. Where you can, like fasten pieces together and it's kind of like been nuts and bolts and different pieces and I made that and then I have my archaeology box there and I have blinds I've never had blinds before oh. and then I have Blanket and jigsaws and stuff, and items over there. Mum's room's blue. Well, see, she doesn't want me to show. She didn't even want me to do a video of the house until we had like unboxed every single box. But oh, it's gonna turn off if I'm not careful. But because it'd been so long since I uploaded. I, I just felt like I had to, because I wanted to update you guys. Right, it's getting to five minutes, so I'm going to wait until Mum gets home. To